one of those mornings when you get up and the sky is overcast and the thunder's starting to roll in and uh, you need a project for this morning. So looking around here, I want to tackle something that uh, I've been looking at for far too long and uh, that's the old hydro pole. I've made a few things in the past out of uh, hydro poles and uh, some chainsaw carving and whatnot, but uh, they've been sitting here for a couple years and I have an idea and uh, this is the morning to try it. I have a bunch of these uh, hydro poles here, there, and everywhere. And uh, some are pine, some are cedar. But this one in particular is a, a cedar one. And it's got a, it's got a few uh, <laughs> staples hammered into it and who knows what else is inside of it. So my first instinct was to take it to the, uh, the bandsaw mill outside at my brother's house and cut it in half nice and neat and then I got looking at it and I said I'm not gonna buy him a new blade when he cuts into uh, one of these staples so I'm gonna try and split this by hand as you can see here I've got a open check here and I've got quite a check here on both ends already so I'm not even gonna fight it this is gonna be more of a fence hanger and I'm gonna choose the cedar log over the pine and uh, I don't even care if it splits uh, crooked like that because it'll be nice and rustic on both of these. And hopefully the idea is to get that opened up. Ooh, listen to that snap crackle. <laughs> well, I'm happy. Well, that's cedar, all right. It smells beautiful. Okay. I just got to figure out which piece I want to use. like this nice concave back on it. That'd be great. Put that staple at the bottom. Now, I've got a lot of checks in here. That's uh, no question about it. And we're going for, uh, I haven't even told you what I'm making. I want to make a uh, sleepy-eyed uh, wood spirit. So basically, it's going to be left raw. I'm going to put it outside the weather and crack. But uh, no paint, no nothing. I just want his eyes closed like he's sleeping so I can see it I've got a knot here and a knot up here but we'll work around it or incorporate it I mean this is a Rockwell jaw horse and uh I really like it. I may have to, uh, I may end up passing it to the floor if I hammer it all over the place, but uh, I'm going to make some room here, clamp her in, and uh, have at it. That might be in the side, but maybe we'll take that, uh, that staple here and we'll sweep the beard off to the side here a little bit. We got lots of, lots of dirt here. I'm going to have to uh, and clean that up before my tools touch it.
hydro worker I got these from figured that these uh, logs were probably from the 70s, late 70s. So uh, they're they're pretty brittle, but we can do it though. We'll figure it out. But yeah, it's just you can see the the wood's chipping. So I'm gonna have to get smaller bites, sharper tools, and just shape it. If you're here to uh, learn a professional way to make a sleeping wood spirit come to the wrong place. I'm just uh, playing and uh, figuring it out as we go. Bring out the big boys. These are all Swiss made file tools. So I'm going to work on uh, really digging in the, the border, the outline. That's my main goal. So I want to get a little bit deeper, cleaner and deeper, and have nice sharp edges on the border.
Just setting up some little spots here for some, uh, some big, big bushy eyebrows. This wood is uh, kind of giving me a hard time. It's a little, uh, a little dry and crackly, but I'm not worried. Remember, this is rustic. Rustic is the key. We're not going for uh, classical art here. So I'm just going to set up these just to, to know where they're going to be at least. In case a big piece chips out again, I can make it work.
plans on uh, doing it really sharp and neat with just the chisels and knives and whatnot. But I found being so dry and being cedar, it was pulling and tearing and ripping. So I, uh, I went rough, obviously, and uh, took the sander to it. Like I said, this is just going to sit outside by the playhouse, by the fire pit, on the, on, probably on the fence. And uh, I don't know. I think it's better than my last one. And that's the whole thing. The practice practice makes perfect so I think uh, I think we have to put oil on it just to make it pop though yeah okay there we go oh I love oiling things look at that so much better than the basswood ones I've done in the past because they so they're so white I like to see some some grains gonna come out of this. So what what else would you do on a on a rainy old morning when you're not at work? Watch Netflix. So I'm glad to, I'm glad I decided to do this today.